Well, I did it again. I got myself a new vacuum. Yep, another shot vacuum. This time I went for a bigger one. This one is a six gallon tank. Hold on, let me show you. The tank is six gallon. It's a two point See you down enough. Oh yeah. Two point twenty five horsepower, twenty two point seven liters, six gallon, and it has a blower port. This is just a filter that I put on the end to make it quiet. So I get all the air in my face. Now this model did not came with a tool cabinet. It never had one. So what I did is I took the tool cabinet from the five gun and put it on this one. It works. It's held on there with a orange and red stripe. It's held on there with a cord, I mean. Works good. And of course I went ahead and put the 16 feet hose on it. This sign fits it through the vacuum. The, so the hose is the same size as this hole, so no restriction whatsoever. And of course, if you see my other videos, you're probably telling yourself, Did it put a power hand on them? The answer to that question is yes, I sure did. This one has a power nozzle too. All I did is wrap an extension cord around the hose and got your little pigtail right here. So now I can use my power head to do my carpet. And here is the famous, well, kind of. Famous Kenmore powerhead. Yep, this is the 12 inch Kenmore powerhead you've seen in my other video. So, as usual, I'm going to plug her in, give you a demo on what it does. I don't have a lot of testing material left, so. I'm just going to go over the carpet to show you how easily it cleans. So this one is 6 gallons, 2.25 horsepower, 16 feet hose, 2.5 inches wide. I changed the vacuum but not the attachments. Load the power nozzle into the cord. Give it a little wiggle, make sure it stays. Good, now I have a bottom power head ready to use. And I'm going to plug in a pan. I'm going to start that good. Plug it in the inverse. Turn on the vacuum. Then I'll turn on the power head and start cleaning. Hold on, let me adjust the camera for a second.
now time to do the upholstery with the saw bed. It's so strong, it stays on there by itself. As you can see, it cleans very well, it's easy to use, and it works good. Some of you might think because it has a bigger hose, it might be harder to use or uh, doesn't clean like it should. Well, take again. This hose is two and a half inches wide. It's got a suction relief here. So if you're doing some delicate fabric, you can adjust the power of the machine. And also the handles and nice bonus. There you have it, that was a brief demo of my 6 gallon shop vac. Now, I'm going to show you the inside, the attachments and how it all goes together. That should conclude the video for today. Yeah, if you don't plug everything. There we go. Now, I don't have the holes all wrapped, all taped up on the, what am I saying? I don't have the cord taped on the holes, so that's why I'm making an knot here. <laughs> I just made a knot with the cord so that it wouldn't be all over the place. Now I have to show the vacuum itself. Move the hose out of the way. Here is the vacuum. There it is. Underneath, if you don't want to see it. It's got four wheels, makes it very stable. Here's the suction port. Shop that. Trusted brain everywhere. In my house, of course. And now for the tool cutter. And of course, you've all seen it before. Here is the blower port of the machine. Floor brush. Hold on, let me find the camera. Floor brush. Crevice tool, 90 degree angle dusting brush, very soft bristle, will not scratch. Now for the good part, your typical 5 to 8 gallon paper bag. There is also the high efficiency bag, which are yellow. These are white bags. The, like I said, this is a six gallon bin. And I've ad added the tool caddy from my old shop vac. This part does not fit on this machine. It's from the previous model, the five gallon. So what I did, I got an, elast an elastic here. There's a hook here. You all see that? It's attached. Then the other side, I did the same thing. So this cord right here, this one, the original red cord, holds the tool carry. It wobbles around sometimes, but I mean, it carries the brush, does what it's supposed to do. And this model did not came with one, so 
I'm very pleased with it so far. And uh, the best part is this machine only cost me forty-five dollars. Yes. There we go. Yep. This machine cost forty-five dollars at Walmart last week. I got it on sale. Yay me! Yay me! Yeah, so that was the six gun shop vac demonstration with the two and a half inches hose, 16 feet long, and also with, of course, 10 more power head, gotta have it. I put a power head on my shop vac so I can clean the carpet of my living room a lot easier without having to push and pull on the floor tool. So, it works great. You all might want to take a look underneath. I don't know if you want to know, but there you go. This is the Kenmore Powerhead. It has three height adjustment. And if you probably noticed already, yes, the bulb is burned out. But the brush will keep turning even if the brush uh, the light bulb is burned out, the brush will keep going. Nice touch. Here it sounds low, medium, high. Don't know if you can see that or not. There you go. And here, back to low. So tree height adjustment. This is just the adapter that I got. Nothing welcome with that. Okay. You might be wondering, how does a power head that has a hose this big fits on one this big? Well, when I bought the machine, hold on, just adjust the camera here. There we go. When I bought the machine, it came with a smaller hose. You know, the one inch and a quarter hose. And this is the part that goes inside the machine, the hose attached to the other end. So. Took that hose off, put on the big uh, 16 feet hose, and just attached this to the one. So the two and a half inches hose works on my power head. This adapter right here. Now I'm gonna try to take it out. That might not work. <laughs> okay. You see, this is the adapter I'm talking about. This adapter is the size of the power head inlet hose. This is the size of the power nozzle one. This, so this, this, that. And now I can use a smaller attachment on my shop vac. You see? So that's how I modified the hose to fit on the power nozzle. So if you all have a shop vac with a big hose and you want to use a smaller attachment, get an adapter like this and use whatever attachment you may need to use. So there you have it. Power nozzle. Shop vac itself. Really long hose. And all the bells and whistles to go with it. So, that concludes my latest video. I know I haven't posted one in a while, I've been busy. So I hope you all enjoy that. Take care and don't forget to subscribe to Compact CA. See y'all next time.